Good morning, everybody. So I know that I have not recorded a video in like two weeks. Um, so I think the last video that I recorded was the Friday before Father's Day um, when I went to the gym with my sister. So let me just kind of recap you guys on my life <laughs> so you can kind of <clears throat> understand, excuse me, why I haven't recorded um, and shout out to my noisy air conditioner. I um, hope you guys can't hear that too much. Um, but so Father's Day weekend was a success. Um, my, yeah, so Father's Day weekend was a, was a success. Um, my boyfriend loved his gift. Um, you know, his daughter got him something. So it was just kind of, it was really, it was really good because he's never really truly been celebrated like that. So it was really good for him. Um, and it was good for me to kind of see that, um, that smile on his face. <clears throat> so we both end up getting sick. And when I mean sick, like I wasn't eating, um, I was barely like drinking, um, you know, water and, and trying to like, I was just like, I was so done. Um, so he was coughing Father's Day weekend and I'm like, oh, just, you know, take some cough medicine and you'll be okay but then like he just kept coughing and the cough kept getting worse and I was like okay you need to go to the doctor so then I woke up Monday morning to go to work I had no voice my throat was on fire and I had no energy like I really could not get out the bed and I was like something's wrong <laughs> I was like something is definitely wrong um so he went to the doctor and they was like, oh, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. You have the, and I was just like, oh my gosh. So I ended up going to the doctor. Um, I had a mild ear infection, upper respiratory infection, sinus infection. I was just like, really? So I literally was trying to rush my recovery process because I really wanted to get back into working out. And I just, I couldn't. And my sister was like, you need to rest. Like, stop rushing to do anything. I rushed back to work. I literally stayed at work for like four and a half hours. And I was like, I can't do this. Um, I literally had, you know, like I had no energy. And, um, you know, my supervisor was like, why don't you take off more time? And I'm just like, you know, I'm not used to not being at work. So my best friend and I, so my best friend was like, stay home, don't do this. And we were supposed to go out and do things. And it was just like, no, um, I literally like the week of June 19th or June 20th, like, yeah, when, the week of June 19th, I did nothing. Like Monday, I stayed home from work. I literally slept all day. Like I was so happy in a sense that they, the earliest appointment that they had was like six o'clock in the evening. Um, but then I was kind of upset because I literally had to wake up and take shower and get ready to go to the doctor. And I woke up at like five, five o'clock to go to the doctor and then went to the pharmacy and got the medication and came back home and got back in the bed. Um, I think majority of that week, I think I had soup like almost for every meal. Um, and then it was like one day my appetite came back and then I ate. And then like the next day I was just like, oh my God, I'm sick again. And it was just like, I really, like I said, I really didn't give my body time to heal. Um, and then the week after that, like I was still coughing and, you know, so I was just like, I'm just gonna take a break. Um, so I did take a break from Zumba, um, but I will be going back um, on Thursday because Tuesday, as you guys know, is the 4th of July. So my best friend and I always go to um, our second home, which is the Tidewater area, the 757. Um, we both went to Norfolk State University. And so every year we try to go back um, around 4th of July just to, you know, see friends, see family, take in the sights and just live on the beach. Who doesn't want to do that, right? So I was like, I don't know how I'm going to feel. Like I had the second week, um, this past week, I literally had no appetite. So it was like, it was a struggle to eat. Um, I made sure I drank fluids because I didn't want to be dehydrated, but it was just a struggle to eat. Um, and then my boyfriend and I ate, what did we eat? We had like Indian food and we both ended up getting sick. So I was just like, and this was like right before 
um, I was supposed to leave. So I was just kind of like, am I not supposed to go? Am I supposed to go? Um, so I ended up going and I had a great time. Um, I went to my favorite restaurant, which is Captain George's, which is a seafood buffet restaurant. So I definitely overate. I didn't eat the healthiest when I was on vacation. Who eats the healthiest when they're on vacation anyway? Um, so today I am back home, but I'm also finishing the last leg of my vacation. Um, so I'm off today and tomorrow. Um, so what I'm doing now is I am, or I have already started, <clears throat> um, our, we have, so as you guys know, I distribute for it works. So we have a two day herbal cleanse. So I just started this cleanse um, and people say it's nasty. I don't think it's nasty. Um, it is an acquired taste, but literally um, you just drink two of these bottles, which is four ounces. I don't know how clear that's gonna be, but you drink two of these a day. So I've already did the morning one. I'm gonna have um, some boiled eggs and I may do a half a bagel for breakfast. Um, and I'm debating on what, um, you know, other protein source, if I do any other protein or if I want to do, um, spinach for breakfast. Um, so I'm doing the two day cleanse to kind of, to not kind of, but to help reboot and reset my system. Because like I said, Thursday Zumba comes back. So I am going to, um, get back on my journey. Um, so like I said, in life, you know, things happen. I got sick and then I didn't let my body rest. I didn't let my body recover during its own time. I tried to force that. So just learning that you have to know your body and as you get older, your body doesn't bounce back as quickly as it used to. So you have to listen to your body. And like I said, I didn't listen to my body the first couple days, but then when I finally listened to my body, I was able to get a full recovery um, and just get back to my norm. So, you know, I'm fin like I said, I'm finishing the last leg of my vacation. I am um, doing the cleanse and just praying that I don't get sick again this summer um, and that I can just continue to um, stay on my, my journey um, to living a healthier and better lifestyle for myself. So thank you for, you know, not giving up on me. I didn't give up on myself. I just literally was sick and down and out. And so now that I'm, you know, back to me, I am definitely ready to go and kick some butt on the dance floor and to get myself back to where I need to be on my health journey. So stay tuned, guys. Thank you so much and have a happy and safe 4th of July.